Whew, I am a wreck. I got like a little bit of conjunctivitis, I believe pink eye. I'm not sure if it's just irritation or if it's actually pink eye. But um, I have an audition this morning or I have a self tape that's due at two o'clock today. Right now it is, whoops, it's 8.22 a.m. And um, I'm a bit exhausted because I spent the past week in New York and um, we, our flight came in last night. The flight was at 7.59, but we sat on a tarmac on the plane for two hours, and then we flew here. So we were pretty much on that plane for seven and a half, eight hours. We got in around 1.30, and by the time I got home and I showered and kind of decompressed from it all, it was 2.22. So I'm pretty exhausted, and um, what do you call it um, when you can't, when you take a flight? Yeah, I'm, I'm that tired. Um, I can't even think about it when, when you're tired from the flight. Um, so I have to get prepared to get my life together, get this eye together so that I can self-tape this audition. It's times like this where <laughs> auditioning is not fun when you're not feeling your best. But... Um, Let's see, I was gone, I was in New York for a week and I hadn't had an audition for almost a month, maybe three weeks prior. So I have to embrace any audition that I get and you know, I'm grateful that my agents made sure to get something for me as soon as I got back to town, that's exciting. But I look and I feel like this, so I've gotta work on that. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my life together um, I'm going to show you how I move past all of this exhaustion and um, jet lagged. <laughs> that's the um, that's the word I was looking for. I'm jet lagged. Uh, I'm going to show you how I move through all of this jet laggedness and get my eye together and get ready to prepare for the audition. And that first starts with a cup of tea. It's a little Trader Joe's Moroccan mint green tea. I'm gonna sit here for a minute and compose myself. I've already done my meditation. And, um, and then I'll show you how I, a day in the life of auditioning after a not so great night of flying and being jet lagged from being on one coast and now coming back to the other and getting my life together. So let's go. So it's 9.45, my eye is getting better, but it's not fully quite there yet. So I still have some time to let it clear up. Like I said, my um, self tape is not due until two o'clock. Um, I'd like to get it in the latest by one, but I really want this eye to clear up as much as possible. But in the meantime, I picked up my outfit and so uh, what it requires is this is a, a suburban mom, soccer mom. And they asked for the quintessential twin set. Well, I don't really do twin sets anymore. So I have to figure out what works for me, what's in my closet and still what gives some of my personality, but also gives the suburban soccer mom feel. So I decided to go with a sweatshirt and some skinny jeans. There we go right there. This is the sweatshirt. I like the color. This is one of my favorite colors. I have my own color palette and this feels good to me. This, like this is my color palette. And then I'll pop this t-shirt on underneath so I can have like a little peekaboo up underneath. 
And then I'll wear my sneakers <clears throat> that kind of go with this. Matter of fact, let me grab them really quickly. I'll go with my Nike Cortez. At the bottom, it'll just look like a, neut a neutral shoe, but it gives my personality. It's interesting because um, I used to try to do everything I could to make the outfits work for what casting requested. And then over time, I just started paying attention to the offices that I book out of a lot versus the offices that I go into a lot that I don't really book. And so this particular office that I'm auditioning for today is a very busy office, but in the 17 years, 18 years that I've been auditioning commercially in Los Angeles, um, I would say, I really should do the numbers. I would say I've probably booked out of that office in the 18 years probably three to five times, definitely no more than 10. And um, so at this point, I'm, I kind of like wonder, maybe that office, maybe their directors don't really like what I do. But the places that I do book out of often, those directors like me. So I don't know, it's just like these thoughts that we have as actors and we're trying to figure out how come I book over here, but I don't book over there. I don't know. Either way, this office brings me in quite often, but I just find that I'm just gonna do my own personality and show up as the thing that I bring. Um, and they'll either hire me or they won't. And so the offices that I do book out of a lot of times, it's me bringing my style and my personality as opposed to some cookie cutter idea of what a soccer mom looks like. And um, I don't have kids, but a lot of my friends do, and I don't know a lot of their kids to play soccer. However, I do know a lot of their kids to play basketball, football, track, a myriad of other um, sports, but, uh, we still bring our flavor. We still bring our own style. So that's what I'm gonna do today with this outfit. And in the meantime, as I'm waiting for this eye to clear up, I'm gonna start working on my research to see, to learn more about the company that I'm auditioning for. And I like to learn about the producers as well. Like what's the production company? So I'll take you on that journey as well. So now I'm going to do a little research on the company. Oh, I don't think I told you, this is a commercial audition. And so with commercial auditions, th there's a few things that are involved in terms of um, auditioning. Uh, it depends on, uh, the commercial is really a director's medium. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll try to see if I can find the director and look at their reel and get a feel for uh, what it is that they're looking for. Uh, in the breakdown, in the audition breakdown, it, it was said that this particular director comes from the music video world. And so when I think of that, I think of things that are just a little bit more animated, um, but still real and grounded. I think of things that are a little bit more colorful, but it depends on the music video. I don't know <clears throat> what genre of music this person casts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go online. Usually when you get a commercial audition, uh, the breakdown, if you click on the title, it'll take you to another page that will tell you who the production company is, who the director is, or it will tell you who the producer and the production company is or may tell you all of those things. So for this particular one, there isn't a director attached to it in terms of there's no name there, but there is a pr production company attached to it. So what I decided to do was look up the production company. So here's Radical Media Production Company. It's great to be able to know the production company's names and then to go to their websites because it's a great way as a commercial actor, artist, to find out who's producing the commercials that we audition for. And a lot of times we can get access to this information. Now, I wanna look at the directors. Look at this list of director names. You can actually go through and click on each individual director, look at their work, look at their bio. Sometimes there's like some social media attached to it. But the main thing that I'm mostly interested in is I'm interested in knowing the tone of the directors, uh, what what their tone normally is. They, they pretty much 
tend to stick with kind of like their niche. They pretty much tend to stick with what they do best. So now let's go to, let's look at the website. Let's check it out. I mean, it's beautiful. So we see that they've got some things talking about Tribeca. There's a few commercials that they have listed here. And, um, I think it's time to go back to the directors. Let's, let's, um, one of the names that stood out for me was Dave Myers. Uh, I know that he did music videos back in the 90s and 2000s, so I'm assuming that he still does. So he's got Bad Bunny here. So now these are the commercials that he's worked on, probably his pride and joy. And there it is, directed hundreds of music videos and commercials over the past 20 years, firmly established himself as one of the industry's most prolific and sought after talents. This is, I believe, the director that I'm probably auditioning for. And what I see is I see culture represented and I see points of view in style. So let's look at his Instagram. And everything that he works on is all within the culture, which makes me believe that my outfit choice to represent myself in the way that I like to represent myself was spot on as opposed to this quintessential um, soccer mom. And not to say that the quintessential soccer mom isn't accurate. It, maybe that is what he's looking for, but just for my own personal, just to feel better about my audition, taking charge of my audition, I like to infuse my own personal style. I mean, look at all these videos that he's done and commercials. They all show personal style. And so hopefully he'll appreciate what I bring and and we can take it from there. But this is why it's really important to click on the casting network's title of the project and to see all that's going on behind the scenes in terms of the director, the um, production company, the uh, ad agency if it's listed, and sometimes the producer. Let's get back to the audition. I'm a little too lazy to set up my lights, so I'm gonna shoot out here in my hallway where the lighting is great this time of day and you know it's pretty quiet in my building for the most part so this commercial is a short one i just say a couple of lines i do a couple of things real quick i'll do two takes and then i'm in and out but um this is my little cheat code <laughs> the hallway look at how great the light is hey there i'm tawana floyd that concludes my audition archives. I woke up with a little pink eye, worked through it, washed my eye out, put in some medication, waited several hours, and um, did my research, my preparation, got my self-tape done. It's about to be uploaded and submitted, and um, I could still use some rest. <laughs> I'm still a little tired, but for the most part, this is pretty much how actors conquer the day we just do it we just make it through if any part of this video was helpful for you won't you please subscribe like um, drop a comment if you have any questions and hit the notification bell because i never know when i'm going to drop videos until next time bye